The high-flying Falcons led the league in scoring behind the reigning NFL MVP and rode the number one seed to an NFC championship, but after a second half to forget in the Super Bowl, Atlanta is still looking for their first ever Lombardi trophy. A big part of that goal is this man right here, Falcons wide receiver Mohamed Sanu. And I build you guys up, and I'm sorry I have to bring this point up. <laughs> uh, that loss. You said that loss in the Super Bowl won't define this Falcons team, but what did you learn from that historic collapse? Uh, you learned a lot uh, as far as your, you as a person, as a man, and you know how you bounce back, uh, how you approach every day, and, and how you carry yourself, but it, it's not going to define me. Like, you know, I know the type of player I am, type of person. We know, my brothers know the type of team we are, the amount of work we put in, and I mean, the way we came out in OTAs, you couldn't tell. We just lost the 28 to 3 lead. Like, <laughs> I mean, we was out there flying around like it was it was just another day of practice. So, I mean, you should see the confidence of our team. While we come back, we, we're ready. Oh, I believe that. And I saw yesterday we talked about it. Uh, Matt's new commercial on mm -hmm. uh, overcoming defeat, resilience, what fuels you going forward. I believe where you guys are now. But I told you, we, I saw you out here in the hallway. I said, <laughs> Mohammed. I'm not blindsiding you. Uh -huh. I have to ask you about this, okay? You talk about what you learned. Uh -huh. I'm going to read you this clip yeah. from, I don't know what it was. Was it NFL Films uh -huh. that caught you guys during the Super Bowl? This is Mohamed Sanu shaking his head. He ain't mm -hmm. never met nothing like this. Uh -uh. To which your t teammate, Taylor Gabriel, says, that's Tom Brady, though. Uh -huh. And you respond, I know I'm never comfortable, but we're about to put 40-something on them. Yep. But I'm saying they've never seen anything like this. That's right. What would you learn from that? I mean... You get hot, you get cold, but I'm just going off what we, we do throughout the year. Do you regret this? No. That's exactly how I felt. But did you feel too cocky? That's the point. No, I felt confident. I mean, we put in the preparation in what we do. Like, what, what's not, you want me to be like, oh, we, we're about to, we about to blow it. Like, well, shoot, I'm not ready. Like, I felt confident in my brothers and my team. Like, all the work we put in, like, there's nothing that says that we weren't going to keep playing the way we're going to keep playing. Like. Nothing told me, like, okay, shoot, we about to just put on the brakes and cool off. No, like, the way we play, we're attack-oriented offense. Like, we go out there, we, we attack teams. And, I mean, I have all the confidence in myself, my team, that we're going to go out and score for you. That's, that's what we normally do. Like, that's, that's a day in the life of the Falcons, really. Who, who didn't show up to OTAs? Everybody did. Everyone showed up. Mm -hmm. And everyone's going to continue to show up. Right. So... <clears throat> You're saying that you guys, now that you've been through what you've gone through, mm -hmm. you're going to now come back and put yourself in a better position. Like, what does it do? We have to. We have no choice. I mean, that's what we're in this game to, to, to do. We're in this business to... Most go. guys don't do well after they lose in the Super Bowl. It right. happened to Cam. It happened... So most guys don't do well. So what are you guys going to do to get back to that I, spot? I mean, I can't speak for most guys. I'm going to speak for you know, myself and my team. I mean, we, we're going to do what we... We know what we do best is that prepare the way we know how to prepare, uh, put in the work, because the only way you're going to get better is by putting in the work, and we're going to grind with each other. Like, our br brotherhood is strong, and we know what we got within our team. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay, I want to come back to this really quick, and, and I appreciate that confidence you talked about to me. This is why you felt that way. Mm -hmm. What I read to you is a reflection of the confidence you have in you, yourself right. and your teammates. Right. Um, was there a moment, Muhammad, when you realized what was happening, that, that you're giving up this lead. That this, oh, yeah. This is, I see what it. was I that think. moment for you in the game where you're like, oh, my God, they're doing this to us? When I seen um, just, like, we came, after we, we came, we scored. I think we, like, we punted. And then after the sack fumble, I was like, whoa, like, this is, this is crazy. Like, like, we're just not moving the ball at all, <laughs> not putting up any points, and they're out there. They are on us. And, um, I mean, they're a great team. Don't get me wrong. They are a great team, and they, they, they show what they, what they can do. But we're a great team as well. And you know, I just had the confidence in my teammates and myself. And um, they, they had that confidence in themselves, too. And that's what makes them a great team. They have a great leader in Tom Brady, and he went out and does what he does best. And that's perform at a high level. Speaking of confidence in your teammates, let's, let's talk about the receiver core, mm -hmm. you and Julio. After Brandon Marshall signed with the Giants, some people are saying that Big Blue has the uh, best receiver duo in the league. Mm -hmm. uh, why are you and Julio the best receiving duo in the we league? We complement each other very well. I mean, I know Julio's strength and his weaknesses, and he knows mine. And uh, we feed off each other very well, and, and we help each other improve daily. 
um, whether you know we're, we're talking through text or he calls me we call each other and we ask how each other's doing uh, our bond is very strong and as we're on the field we're always watching each other and uh, saying oh you could have did this better or oh well you could have ran this route better so um, we know what we need to get better at and how to progress and, and that's that's what we're trying to do do you guys train together no we why don't why don't, <clears throat> why don't guys do that I mean he's still getting his foot together so um, I mean once he's back we'll train together but like most of the times guys you know have their own trainer that they're accustomed to and that knows them the best and that, that's who they train with. Mm -hmm. Cassie asked you about uh, who's the best receiving core in the NFL. So in back to back weeks mm -hmm. you basically have a first hand experience of well an ongoing debate on this show. Mm -hmm. Who's the best quarterback in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Now let's set aside the name Matt Ryan for the moment OK. Mm -hmm which I perfectly accept if you want to insert that name into the debate. But right. for now, you play Don't Aaron be led. Rodgers. Don't be led by him. <laughs> Go ahead. You played Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady back to back. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady did what Tom Brady does to you. Aaron Rodgers, you beat, but you played. Mm -hmm. Who's the better quarterback? I don't know. <laughs> well, I swear, I really don't. But they're like, almost between, exactly I mean, alike, right? Yeah, I mean, they're, no. they're both. I mean, Tom Brady plays the game different. Aaron Rodgers plays the game different. Aaron Rodgers can move around and make incredible throws. Tom Brady, he will stand back there and dice you up. And boom, 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 until you make a mistake and he'll strike you for a big play. And uh, Aaron Rodgers is going to make a big play whenever. It's any time possible. So you got to be on your toes. So it's hard to say who's the better quarterback. I mean, they're both phenomenal quarterbacks. So 